Oh, that's the guy that he did the fucking AMA, the the the, the thing in it. Um, is that MMA bites? Oh no, sorry, that's some. Oh no, he means TFK the channel. Oh, he means TFK the channel. The the TFK channel that does the clips. Okay, I want to, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. What does BJ have to say about TFK channel? Wow, there's beef. Okay, let's hear this. Let's hear this. Oh, if you are you that guy, he actually really fucked me over. He faked being my friend during the Luana drama to get personal info I hadn't told others, turned right around to tell Luana everything I said, asked me questions she wanted answers to then told her immediately, got me to send stuff THSD made her look bad for his videos under the guise of having my back, basically he played us both and is a sociopath, kept saying, you can trust me bro, I'm the only one you can trust. Wanted to meet up in person go to a basketball game. Then he basically tried to bang Luana too. I found out he went behind my back and spilled the beans. He asked to me to Everyone do was a live stream Luana, and I just fair. said that's no. Didn't make a big deal or call him out just distance myself. He didn't follow up cause I was short blunt and I have to imagine he knew why despite me not spelling it out. Then, months go by never hear from him again. And he starts making hypercritical content about me again recently calling me a crazy stupid wow. loser piece of shit amongst other insults etc. The day after I posted about me and Luana working shut out, we did couples <laughs> therapy for months before I posted. Okay. I texted him like yo dude I don't know WTF I did to you but this shit is sociopath behavior. You're a fraud and a liar and the opposite of what you claim to be. There's a reason you don't post your face cause I'd find you and slap the fuck out of you. <laughs> he also makes a living reading the funny comments YLL right on this sub. Hmm. True bottom feeder, true grifter, true hypocrite, true sociopath. He's as honestly as bad as Bappa and I don't say that lightly. Wow. I'd honestly KO the dude if I saw him. We'll post out texts at some point. Wow. So T5K guy is a fucking piece of shit, right? To be fair, BGL's a little bit naive and redacted to think that some random YouTube guy is his friend. I don't know if that's an LA thing. But this weird sense of trust to people that you don't know, like, what does he know about this T5K dude? He has no idea what he looks like, no idea what his real name is. Like, it's a bit odd to, to be that trusting with somebody like that, right? Especially when you're going through a bitter breakup like he went through with his girlfriend at the time. Why would you trust him with, your, with that information? Why are you going to him for a shoulder to cry on? It's a bit odd. Yes, he obviously took advantage of it, but I find that really strange. But damn, man, what what that Tifat K guy allegedly done is kind of, kind of dickish. If somebody tells you something in confidence, you should keep it to yourself. I've been told a lot of things in confidence via DMs and stuff by random people. Some of it could be just be lies, but I don't ever say it on the stream because it's not necessary. If somebody tells me, hey, don't say this, you just don't say it. Yes, it might get you some views and some clicks, but is that really worth it, really, to be purposely putting out pers people's personal information just for the sake of clicks and views? That's a bit gross. That's a bit lame. Um, that is really conniving and odd, to be fair. I don't like that at all. Um, that's really bad. I'm not going to lie. That's really fucking bad. As dumb, as, as dumb and redacted um, and naive... Um, as it was for BGO to trust that guy, that guy is a piece of shit. If if what BGO said about him is true, if he was going back feeding information, because that's the thing that he was. It sounds like it sounds like he wanted to fuck Luana, but instead of just being a guy and saying, "Hey, I want to fuck you," he did that thing that um, loser guys do, where you put down the other guy to fuck the girl, which I think is a complete pussified, lame, lacking in fucking balls move as a dude. If you want to fuck the girl, just say you want to fuck her. You don't have to go and put another dude down or sh or make him look bad and stuff. That's horrible. That's dirty macking. I hate a dirty macker, right? Or oh, leave that guy. He's not good for you. I will do you better. It's like, shut the fuck up. Like, shut up. Shut up. You know what I mean? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Um. So, yeah, it looks like he was getting information from BGL, feeding it back to her, hoping she'd pull down her panties and it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work in epic fashion because as toxic as BGL and Luana are, they're clearly made for each other. They're psych like you don't spend that much of time online on streams talking to random people. Like B Luana did a what we did a live stream. Was it like four and a half hours or something? She did a live stream with MMA holes. You don't go on li random people's live streams trashing your ex if you don't care. that's something i should have i should have clocked when i was watching it there was always love there 
you don't talk that aggressively about other people that passionately if you don't still love them BGL was going on like seven different podcasts talking about Luana. She was going on podcasts talking about him, writing stories on Instagram. If you don't care about somebody, you don't talk that much about them. So I guess we misread it anyway. We thought they were going to be, they were broken up after the whole like, he's attacking me, he's attacking me video and him deadlifting the car. But that was just another one of their breakups, right? They're just that classic couple that we all know where they're, they're kind of toxic. They're always fighting. They're always arguing. They're always breaking up, but they always get back together. But this 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 Tfat K guy didn't read it well. He thought because they were not together at the time, he could fuck, which is odd. And also, you have to be a bit of a you have to be a bit of an egomaniac to think you can fuck her without having a, your face out there, you know, or anyone. I'm like a faceless YouTube account. Like, how how are you gonna rev like? It's a bit wild, but yeah, wow, man, BGL, bro, what an absolute tragedy but i think some of you guys in the stream chat have told me again i don't really know much i haven't really done much digging and detailing but i think uche somebody else told me before that that t5k guy has been dodgy anyway from minute one right people don't like him so what else happened to him he did something else is it to, uh, is it to the kids i don't i just i don't think it's i don't think so but what was it about with, with him people don't like him forget the t5k channel and what he does i think personally some people said he was dodgy already isn't it fuck bro okay uh okay uh oh, okay cool um there's another one there's another post too on that was it it wasn't what's that i wasn't but rewatched it recently if someone treated me like that on a pod i'd turn around and break down exactly why how disrespectful it was on all levels and end the friendship officially on my own pod and let that get more views than anything else i've done for years instead like the pussy clout chaser he is he pretended like it went great oh, i think he's talking about the jake paul and logan paul interview yeah that was one of the ones that i think bj has shared this before but that was one of the most amazing insights into brendan's psyche and that's what made me believe that he's a lost cause and he's beyond help when BGL broke the news that no Logan sorry Brendan actually thought the Logan Paul interview went well he didn't he didn't understand why people were thinking it was a bad interview why Logan you know punked him out like he that's when that's when I was like wow Brendan's a lost cause if he legitimately because watching that Logan Paul interview it's uncomfortable watching it from your phone from your laptop screen it's uncomfortable you want to cringe I couldn't imagine how uncomfortable it was to sit in that studio and see these guys who are half your age laugh in your face and basically rush you out of the studio and pretend they have dinner logo's like yeah we've got dinner we've got dinner they didn't even tell him before and they they suddenly cut it off like they cut the interview short like yeah we gotta go dinner we gotta go dinner laughing at him about he does youtube like it was so bad man and that he didn't punk him to his face over and over and over then finish him with the ultimate diss if pretending he had a non-existent dinner reservation to escape the awkwardness of the worst episode of impulsive podcast of all time Bapa's just completely incapable of cutting off anyone he deems socially superior because he's the ultimate cloud chaser truly one of the most pathetic appearances of his career and that's really saying something yeah i agree with that one that's true what are you guys saying here tfk dude actually looks like the older comedy enforcement well, does he what is that his name jimmerman I don't know what he looks like. What's his name? Jimmerman. Jimmer, Jimmerman T Fat K. What is that? What his name is? I don't, nothing comes up on here. What's his actual name? Jimmerman. I, I don't. I don't see his face. He's oh, he's Asian. Really? I thought he's a white guy. I honestly thought he was a white guy. I didn't know he was a fucking um. Uh, he wasn't. He was an Asian. Oh, Jimmer Nam. Jimmer Nam. Okay, sorry, my bad. Jimmer Nam. Because when I wrote Jimmerman, I said that. Look, look, look. <laughs> Jimmer, Jimmer Nam. Oops. <gasps> is that him no way yo if BG bgl if this guy fucks your girl you gotta like break up with your girl if you let someone like that fuck your girl you have to you have to break up with your girl you have to no offense to jimmerman but no offense to jimmerman damn son i didn't know he looked like that honestly he looks like evil um who's that guy Who's that guy that comes on Rogan a lot? The artist that did the mural at Facebook. Jim and Nam. Who, who's, 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 who's that guy? Is it Steve? I forgot his name. The, the Asian artist that did the, that did the mural on Facebook. Yeah, he looks like an evil David Cho. No? Does he look at like evil David Cho? Wow, that's him. Wow, okay. Fair play. Fair fucking play. Fair fucking play. Oh, he, does he? Um, Jared Miller said he has like three or four YouTube channels. 
Okay, so he, he has more than just T5K. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, he must be making bank, bro. Let's see here what, what he's content here. Let's see what else BJ has been saying. Okay, so I think someone told him to uh, to shut up or something. He says, I'm rattled off drinking wine and watching UFC. So he's, 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 I don't know about you, but when I drink wine, I get sleepy. I don't start wanting to post, turbo post on Reddit. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I, I don't know what kind of wine he's drinking. <coughs> wink, wink. But when I drink wine, I just want to sleep. I, you know what I mean, I don't want to post like essays on fucking Reddit, but you know, everyone's different. Um, duh, 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 duh. He hates fat people because he hates thinking about his own fatness. That's a good point because I'm not the one we go to the link. Okay, cool. Why is that during my age? I'm 40. That's old enough. Cool. You're not wrong, but he came at me hard out of nowhere. Everyone I wrote facts. Okay, cool. That's it, really. It's not much, not much new stuff there, is it? George is 19. Fuck. He kind of acts like it, but he doesn't look 19. George is 19. God damn. <laughs> BGL still thinks he can beat up Brendan. Didn't he want to fight Darren Till as well? He's when it comes to his when it, when it comes to his fighting ability, either BGL is delusional or he actually has hands. That's the one thing I'm thinking about. Maybe BGL actually does have hands. Maybe he's not delusional. But I think he is, but maybe he's not. Trust me, I have zero fear of that man physically. Not saying I'd win, but he's got a glass chin. I'd put my own wrestling against his. He's a drug addict with zero conditioning. Tore two hammies running ten feet. Cat run a mile. I could evade him in an octagon for ninety seconds and he'd keel over from exhaustion. That's a fair point. He did he did blow out two hammies running in a parking lot, you know, fifty meters or some shit, so that's, that's true. Let's go, Shabelle! I see that. The rest is bigger than him. Sometimes, but he worships the Dalia, but also thinks he's res resurrected his for, by putting him on. Uh, he talks about the kid. He took a kid, Brian. Uh, okay, cool. Sign a new show. Will death last more than six episodes and turn the profit as I'm business major from a state universe. <laughs> okay. Um, you've seen the video of me trying to what? Stop her song keys wallet. So much degenerate soon there'll be nothing there. Super Jack. Yes, a video of me pushing the bumper of the car. Okay, cool. There's not much more new stuff there, isn't it? To see, I don't think that he's posted. 